This video is sponsored by PCBWay. More on them in just a bit. Hey guys, welcome back to Bright Night Tech. My name is Bruno and today we are talking about the Elegoo Centauri Carbon. Yes, I am one of the many people that got one. Um, I am one of the people that got the third batch, which I am very happy that I did because I saw how much trouble everybody was getting in the beginning and uh, I'm glad that the one that I got is uh, after all these changes they made to it. Um, so I'm not going to go into like a lot of stuff because honestly there are so many other YouTubers that have done very in-depth videos on this printer so you don't need to hear that from me. I'm just going to give you my quick experience on it um, so you guys can kind of see what I had to deal with. Um, so. First of all, uh, third batch, I was supposed to get it at the end of May, but it shipped out about a month early. And then I saw that a lot of people were getting it. They were getting it about 30 days earlier, which was really cool. Um, so as having it in the third batch, here's the stuff that they fixed. Um, I did get the modified packaging. So it had the handles a little bit lower. It was reinforced better. So when I opened it up, flawless. No broken door, no broken uh, glass on the top, nothing. It was perfect. Uh, no dents, nothing like that. So I was very lucky. I think the newest batch has a better light. It doesn't have that, uh, just that little tiny light that it has in the front. It has like, light bars inside which is cool i wish i got that but you know what? i'm pretty happy with it for me i did the led lights um i did the riser with the vents on it and i had to super glue the led lights because they kept falling down because it gets warm and the adhesive starts to melt and it comes down but um let me show you guys some of the prints that i did with it uh to test it out so i definitely wanted to do this riser because uh, it just looks cool, honestly, with the little vents and stuff. I don't plan on doing many different types of filaments besides PLA, maybe silk, um, and we'll get that into that in a minute. Um, so I think just having the vents like that is fine. If I want to take the glass top off, it's also fine. Um, but yeah, pretty happy with it. So I bought this table on Amazon, but it's very shaky. It wasn't as sturdy as I was hoping it was going to be. So initially when I ran the printer it was shaking like crazy um, I was able to get very good prints out of it but it was just shaking and I, I didn't feel good about it um, I saw how many people were getting like the rubber mats for underneath it which is cool um, to kind of stop the vibrations um, and I was gonna get one and then I realized wait a minute the foam that came with it, it's already the right size. I just gotta break off some of the pieces and I did that and it's working great. It still shakes a little bit, but for the most part, it handles all that vibration. Um, I'm still thinking about maybe modifying it a little bit more, but I'm pretty happy with this and I didn't have to buy anything extra. So now let's talk about quality. So I did do a test print with just the default PLA uh, profile and I did it in the standard, and then I also did it in the fine 0.12 uh, layer height to see what the difference looked like. And honestly, the standard looks fantastic the way it is. If you do it in the 0.12, even better, but not a huge difference, especially if you're doing it for cosplay where you're gonna sand anyways, but I think it looks awesome. So next is I did try to do uh, silk filament and I do not blame the printer because I am just very bad at using silk filaments. Um, I have tried to do them on my Elegoo Neptune 3 Max and failed utterly. And then I try to do it on this one. And again, I just can't get the temps right and the profile right. I tried to use the silk profile that I had on there, but I, it just did not work out. But I don't blame the printer just because I know that I'm not good at using those. I think this is a fantastic printer so far. I don't believe I've gotten any failures uh, besides the silk stuff, but again, not its fault. Other than that, all the prints have come out fantastic. I already started using it for the next helmet project that I have, and I'll give you guys a little bit of a preview of that. And 
the detail that it has is amazing. And speed wise, holy schnankies, it is amazing. So for example, the Wolverine uh, dome part of it, I was gonna print that out on my Elegoo 3 Max and that was going to take about two and a half, maybe three days uh, doing the 0.12 layer height to get as much detail as I could. On this guy, it luckily it fit and uh, it took 19 hours. So very quick and amazing uh, quality and detail. So I am super happy with this. It's going to come in handy for a lot of different parts. I still love my Neptune 3 Max and it's great for just one shot uh, helmets, but for things that I need, that I need quickly and I need a lot of detail on, this is going to be my go-to. Um, I still love my CR10 too, but I think at some point I'll probably have all the printers going at some point if I have a big project. So looking forward to that. I really do like the time-lapse feature. I've been wanting to do time-lapse for a long time and I'm just trying to figure out the best way for me to do it. Um, but this is great. I really like it. Once you deal with the lighting, it's it's great. Um, some of the early uh, time lapses that I did were very dark, still look cool, but I'm glad I was able to get these lights in. All right, before we keep going, let's have a word from our sponsor. I want to take a second and thank our sponsors, PCB Way. If you don't know who PCB Way is, well, let me tell you, they are your one-stop shop for manufacturing services. They are best known for their custom PCB boards, but they also do CNC machining and 3D printing in an array of different materials among other services. But let me show you guys how to order something from them. All right, so let me show you what the website looks like. It looks like this. This front part is to do PCB board quotes, but let me show you what the 3D printing looks like. You go over here, you click on 3D printing, you drop your file right there, uh, units of measurement, and then what material you wanna use. They have so many, PLA, nylon, uh, steel, uh, and then you tell them, uh, in this case, resin, what color, and then they have a lot of different other options so you can customize exactly what you want for your file. After that, you submit the file, they review it, if there's any problems, they'll reach out. If not, they'll get right to manufacturing. And that's pretty much it. Super simple, great way to get these services. Super easy to do. Highly recommend their services. Affiliate link in the description. Make sure to check them out. So apart from that, other modifications are the little holder thing here. I'll show you a little bit closer. Um, it's a little holder for the glass uh, top of it also have a space for your tools and it also has little holders for different uh, beds that you can have on there which is really cool um, and I'm really happy with that setup as well I'll put the link in the description but again if you are watching this most likely you've already watched a bunch of other uh, videos on this printer again I'm just giving you guys a quick little uh, layout of what what I'm experiencing with it and so far I am very happy um, but yeah, all right, if anything else comes up with it that I think I need to tell you guys, I will definitely do a video about it. But let me know if you guys have gotten the Centauri Carbon and how you're dealing with it, which batch you got, um, and if you're happy with it. I mean, $2.99 is very hard to beat, especially when, uh, you know, the X1 Carbon is like $1,500. So, um, again, very happy with it. Uh, after shipping, for me, it was $330. And uh, unfortunately, anybody that gets it after that will probably have to deal with the tariffs, which um, the price will probably go up. I think Elegoo sent out an email about that, but I don't know any other specifics in terms of um, cost for the US so keep an eye out on that but uh, yeah thanks for watching if you have any questions go ahead and put in comments below don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button for notifications and we will see you next time